just in 10 minutes we are going to discuss about schedule refresh options in power bi and this video covers pl300 topic also if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe once you publish a report to power bi services you need to think about refreshing the data to get the latest information in power bi we have a feature called schedule refresh that can be used to define the frequency and time slots to refresh data set this feature has two major advantages it will save time since you need not have to manually refresh your data set users will get up to date information since data refresh will happen at defined intervals if schedule refresh is properly configured you will be able to see the time at which refresh has happened and what is the time of next refresh as you can see in the image given below this is the scenario we are going to discuss you have a power bi pro license you have data in a sql server database you need to create a report from this data publish the report to power bi services as the data is expected to be updated frequently in the source you need to establish a gateway connection and schedule a refresh frequency as frequent as possible what are the possible options available in general with the data from sql server or similar sources the schedule refresh options are different for different storage modes oh is it so raja why don't you give us a quick demonstration so that we can understand how the options are going to be different for different storage modes that's what i am going to do in next few seconds okay here we go what i am showing in the screen is a power bi report named as dq sample for direct query sample and the source comes from a sql server and the storage mode is direct query i have the same data from the same sql server same database same table in another file called import sample in which the storage mode is import since it is an import mode you will be able to see the data physically and we have 2 million rows of data so it is pretty clear that we have the same source of data but the storage mode is different in both these files in your screen now you are watching app.powerbi.com which is nothing but the power bi services where i can have different workspaces in this example i am going to use an workspace i have already created named as youtube samples for your information i have a pro license at this point of time within this workspace called youtube samples there are a couple of files please make a note of that i am back to my power bi desktop currently in the dq sample file would like to publish this report to a workspace called youtube samples now i am able to see a message called success open dq sample dot pbix in power bi go to my services refresh it for a moment i am now able to see dq sample comes and sits here as a data set component and a report component in desktop it is a single file once it is published it is converted into a data set component holding the data and the report component that is holding your visuals please have a look into this icon called schedule refresh when you click this the first thing you need to do is to click on the gateway and the cloud connections to check whether everything is going good i have already established a gateway and then i am trying to find out whether i could see a green tick mark here everything looks to be good then i'll be able to click on the refresh option where i'll be able to set my refresh frequency you can see that from the drop down menu the smallest time slot is once in 15 minutes which means i have a pro license data comes from a sql server storage mode is direct query and i'll be able to refresh the data once in every 15 minutes click apply you will be able to get a confirmation message go back to your workspace you will be able to see the last time of refresh and then approximately 15 minutes from that will be the next refresh time so you have defined 
the time slot as 15 minutes every 15 minutes this is expected to refresh itself automatically you can click on the schedule refresh option once again to click on refresh history where you will be able to find when it was refreshed a lot and so on in case you don't need the data to be refreshed every 15 minutes you have multiple options it can happen every 30 minutes every one hour every two hours or you can have it daily and then please ensure that you provide the correct time zone here as per your country then you will be able to schedule it for eight different time slots in a given day you can schedule it for eight different time slots i am back to power bi desktop again now i am in the file called import sample where the storage mode is import then i am going to publish this file also now i am getting a warning message saying that your file was published but disconnected i can click on open data set settings and when it opens i can go to the gateway and cloud connections to check everything is good unfortunately there is a small glitch here i need to confirm that this is connected to my sql server and then i need to apply the import sample gateway connection is now updated i will now be able to schedule a refresh even though the storage mode is import i'm going to switch this on and the frequency available for import mode is either daily or weekly you don't see the 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour two hours option in this case so if your data is in a storage mode called import then you will be able to refresh it eight times in a day if you are having a pro license and it will be 48 times a day if you are having a premium license and the last point i would like to touch in this demonstration is about a sending refresh failure notification that will normally be sent to the data set owner however you can also include other contacts to whom an email will be sent in case there is a failure in refresh and if the refresh fails frequently then schedule refresh will also be disabled just to give a final confirmation that you will be able to refresh the data once in 15 minutes even with the power bi pro license in case if your data storage mode is direct query i am showing this screenshot to you you will be able to see that the first refresh has started at around one o'clock in the afternoon and we are progressing every 15 minutes the scheduled refresh is successfully completed beyond any doubt the eight times per day limitation is applicable only for data storage mode that is import when you have the data storage mode as direct query you are able to configure refresh every 15 minutes hope my point of delivery is clearly captured by all of you thank you that is the end of this demonstration and you will be now able to quickly watch the summary in terms of uh, slides
Hi all, you are now watching the JTM3 video. In the JTM4 video, you will find a way to view the last refresh time as a part of your report itself instead of looking for it in different places. You may be certainly interested to check that. Stay tuned, please subscribe to this channel, share this with your contacts and do comment your thoughts on these videos.